Okay, before I do this video, please state your name and it's okay that I put this on my YouTube channel. Jennifer Boric, totally okay. Okay, so you came to me how? A referral from a physical therapist. And why is that? Because nobody has believed how much pain I've been in. Mm -hmm. um, so physical therapy helped a little mm -hmm. and I, I just can't continue to not walk and function. I have six children. Describe your pain for me. Um, I would say most days an eight or a nine out of 10. Uh, what's the nature of it? Is it st stabbing, throbbing, shooting, burning, pain, all, all, of, of, it. It, all of it? All of it. Um, so it's really life altering for you? Absolutely. Okay. Now one of the things I did is I noticed immediately that you had the Bregman sign. And the Bregman sign, if we look here, is you can see the pulse through the skin. This is pathognomonic for having tarsal tunnel syndrome. She has it on both sides and she has the symptoms on both sides. Now, one of the things that I also did is I took an ultrasound picture before I did anything to prove that she didn't have plantar fasciitis, which she was being treated for. And that's a normal plantar fascia on that ultrasound machine. So our next steps are basically going to be, we're going to get a test to help confirm and rule out some other things, but basically we're going to schedule you to have this decompressed. Um, the other interesting thing that you have also is most of your pain is right down here where my thumb is, right? Right. Okay. So that's something called Baxter's neuritis, which is a separate uh, nerve branch of the tarsal tunnel past the abductor muscle belly, which we'll explain that at some point in the near okay. future. And we're going to fix that as well. And you have a 90% chance of getting better. I'm so excited. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Okay. We're back with Jennifer. Uh, part two. So after we talked a little more about what was going on with her feet, she started mentioning some other issues, which was she was falling a bit, which she had attributed to having uh, the problem down below and compensating. But when I examined her, and let's pull this up a little bit, I did a little quick examination of her common fibular nerve, and I said, does that hurt when I press there? Mm -hmm. Answer, yes. Yes. She does not like that. <laughs> and then when I popped down to the superficial fibular nerve, Yes. No bueno. And you can see her face. She does not like that. So certain people are prone to multiple nerve entrapments. It's just, there's no real explanation for it other than something is making the nerves swell a little bit and something around the nerves is contracting. And so you get basically a crush scenario. So more than likely, uh, in addition to tarsal tunnel surgery and Baxter's nerve surgery, we're going to have to decompress the common fibular nerve and the superficial fibular nerve at the same time. So just a teaching point that don't always focus on the main area, ask some questions, get a good history. You know, don't spend two seconds with the patient. That's going to really help you out when you do your exam. She agrees.